Hello there and welcome to the new topic which is how to create Power BI stacked area chart. So stacked area chart is very similar to the line chart or the area chart that we have created earlier and the only difference is this that the categories are stacked on top of each other. So it's again a slight different representation but shows you the same information that means the trend over a period of time and whether the categories is shrinking or not. So what I mean by that is, let me show you over here by pasting the details. So over here, if you see, uh, what do we have is the product categories is furniture, office supplies and technology. And if you see these categories, so first is the furniture. So first stack is here. Then second part of the stack is the office supplies. So on top of that, and then you have the third stack, which is the technology. And the only difference you see is the uh, furniture is the lowest one where you have the low area then the higher or the bigger size is office supplies and the most biggest size is the technology that's a sort of a representation that you get as how each category is big or small when you compare it with the um, uh, compare it over here in the stack area chart as well as how the trend moves over a period of time now let's go into the Power BI and see how we can create it. So here we are within the Power BI and to create the chart, which is tech area chart, we need to click over here on this option. As you can see, this is the sort of representation we got earlier, stack or the categories one on top of each other. Now we need to select the relevant uh, dimensions and values. So the first dimension is, is the date dimension. So we will going to select the order date. Then the next dimension is the product category. And the third dimension is the sales. Now we can have the sales or we can have the profit. So let me put uh, put it in a focus mode. So once I click over here, it will show you in the focus mode and uh, same representation which we talked about. It has the trend over a period of time and it shows you how big the stack is and how they are on top of each other. Now the same options if I have already explained these options in my previous videos if you have not looked at it I highly recommend otherwise it is more like I'm repeating myself so it, it is basically drilling down so we are at 2010 and if you want to look at the years or the quarters or the month information we can drill down similarly you have uh, this option uh, going to the next level so right now we are at a year but if you want to look at the quarter you will click here similarly if you want to look at both year and quarter or the quarters which is related to each year it will expand this entire chart to show it for example like this so it's the same information but stacked on top of each other and gives you the details as how big or small the category is as well as how the trend is looking over a period of time which is much more uh, what i think is um, clean as compared to the normal area chart which we seen earlier as well as that give us the directional input as whether the categories is shrinking or or expanding or how or whether the sales is going down or going up so let's come back by clicking on drill so that's very quickly about uh, how you would going to create the uh, area chart and like i mentioned you have a couple of options like for example the formatting option if you want to format the x-axis y-axis the legend or some of the general values like the position, height, width, uh, description, so on and so forth, like labels. So data labels is something which is very interesting. If you enable that, you will going to get the data labels over here on each of the category if you want a total labels or not. So if you want total labels, that will also be enabled for you. And uh, shapes information. So I'm just trying not to go in each and everything otherwise that's a separate topic altogether onto this but uh, the third option is basically the analytics where you can have something like uh, uh, different lines like the constant line or as per the chart that you select the different analytics option is enabled for you so i leave it up to you the different option within the formatting to explore or the constant line to explore but maybe in a separate topic when a particular topic will arise, the need will be arising to, to uh, better explore that area. I will explore over there. But if you, in the meantime, if you have any question, please feel free to put it in the comments and I will respond to you. So that's about it for this topic and I'll meet you now in the next topic.